All right, it looks like Facebook is taking a while to connect, but I think we're getting there. All right, guys, here is a last minute live on our Revolutionize Instagram page, as well as YVive, at YVive on Instagram. Um, hi, hi guys, thank you for joining on this impromptu little meeting today. I am actually supposed to be presenting for YVive right now, and I figured why not pull uh, this information, this great information onto our Instagram platform as well. Why the hell not? Uh, I am reaching out because, uh, you know, this is a kind of a weird time of year. Uh, Super Bowl. Super Bowl is a strange time of year for us. It's almost like a second chance of uh, New Year's resolutions that are coming out. We, we tend to get very, very busy at this time of year. It's almost like people wait till the Super Bowl to finish until they are saying, okay, I think I'm going to get on track with hitting my goals or I'm going to start my nutrition plan or whatever it is now. Hey, Alan. Hey, Mary. And, uh, you know, a lot of a lot of folks that we work with well, some were on track for Super Bowl, which is awesome, but others, you know, they let their hair down, they relaxed, they had some fun, and they ate a lot, a lot, a lot of food. And they woke up the next day feeling like absolute garbage, you know, both physically and mentally. And the mental game, we know that this is very psychological when we're dealing with uh, fat loss and muscle gain and body transformation goals, right? Like everybody here that's on my feed right now, they know, okay, the numbers, the nutrition, that's the easy part, but why we do things, why we don't do things, why do we overeat, why do we restrict ourselves, um, the reactions we have when we weigh ourselves on the scale, you know, it's, it's quite an emotional journey. So again, if you guys see me going back and forth between two different cameras, it's because I am. Uh, again, I'm on Why Vive uh, Connect on Facebook and I'm on our Rev Instagram. My son's ice cream cake crushed me. Yay, Don, what's up, man? So yeah, like there's certain things that just kind of popped up during the Super Bowl and you know, many of us had intentions of staying on track and kind of halfway through, it's like we slashed the tire, why not? slash the other three and we it kind of became this this negative snowball effect which happens it does happen so it's about getting back on track sooner than later the most um successful people that we know at rev and not not even with rev the most successful people we know are the ones that get back on track faster and they don't let that slip up become the remainder of the day or the next day and the week and then they just give up so First thing I want to talk about, <laughs> Don with the throw up emoji. The first thing I want to throw about, uh, talk, throw up about, talk about are the weight fluctuations on the scale. And we've spoken about this many times before, but I'm here to give you guys a reminder of what is going on if you happen to weigh yourself the next day and saw some leap in numbers. So, as we know, the scale is your relationship with gravity, right? That's all it is. It doesn't know what you're composed of, whether it's water, muscle, fat, food. So if we're seeing spikes in your fluctuations or weight weight on the scale, keep in mind it's anything from food, water, swelling, whether it's injury swelling, uh, intramuscular swelling post uh workout and recovery, food sitting in your digestive tract. Have you gone to the bathroom? Have you not gone to the bathroom in a few days? Are you feeling a little backed up and you just got to make a little poop? Uh, women, are you going through your menstrual cycle? We know that has a huge reaction uh, with the water that we hold in our body. And, uh, you know, these are all things that affect our weight on the scale. So if you're one of those people that are very, very affected by this, you need to take a step back and you need to remind yourself of all the factors that go into this. If you jumped up in weight, it is not a reflection of three pounds or four pounds of fat that you put on in a day. Absolutely not. That is impossible to even do. Um, but it is a reflection of things that are going on in your body from water to food uh, that's just sitting there and hasn't passed yet. <laughs> Mary, your coaches are badass. Oh, I love you. Oh, Sylvia's here too. Hi, Sylvia. So keep these things in mind. Take a step back and do not let any scale jumps make you say, F this, I'm done. I can't do this. Now, that being said, things to do and not to do post, uh, post Super Bowl. Things to not do is restrict your calories or, and this goes for Super Bowl, this goes for any day of overeating or perhaps binge eating, which uh, many people have had struggled with before as well. Maybe you can relate to this, maybe you don't, but uh, restricting your calories the next day is a big no-no. Most of you won't even make it until 5 p.m. until all of a sudden you start over-consuming even more food, 
right? You can't, you can't go that long without eating. You're going to go on another binge. The best thing to do is get back on track, hit your macros as you would normally do. Do not restrict. Do not throw yourself into that yo-yo cycle that you've been stuck on your whole life. The next thing, do not punish yourself in the gym, nor should you have that negative association with the gym or fitness to begin with. If anything, do something positive and something cool in the gym, um, whether it's a faster sprint, hit a new PR, see if you can lift a heavier weight, go for a hike, try something new fitness related, a new class or something that you've never done before. Water, waste, digest, exactly. Yep, absolutely. So do something fun and exciting. Movement is opportunity. Movement is a blessing. It is not a punishment. Whatever you're capable of doing, like you should be very happy that you are capable of doing that in the first place. So it's got to be something positive, not negative. Um, in addition, negative self-talk. Most people that will step on the scale and see those crazy fluctuations, it's all downhill. It's negative. I They'll be feeling so confident, and the second they see that weight, all of a sudden they're not confident. They're covering up. Their whole aura just goes in the gutter, and that you know transcends to everything that they do throughout the remainder of the day as well, right? So stop with the negative self-talk. You need to be kind to yourself. You need to understand, hey, it was Super Bowl or a holiday or a whatever day. I enjoyed myself. I enjoyed the food. It's done. Move on. Back on track. Um, you need to see the bigger picture. If you're stuck in this small-minded, small goals, and that's all you can see, it is a little dangerous. You need to know, okay, maybe I had one slip up over the course of how many days in a week or how many days in a month. It's okay. Leave it behind you. Move on. Bigger picture, bigger picture. Uh, in addition, you need to set realistic goals for yourself. So now that the Super Bowl is done, you had your New Year's resolutions, whatever it may be, um, it's all about setting realistic goals for yourself. You can have big goals set for yourself long-term, right? But it takes all those small, short-term goals to accumulate and get you there. So focus on your non-scale victories. Focus on your accomplishments that you make day-to-day. -day. Day -day. Let that build your confidence as you succeed with those. And as that confidence builds, you'll be able to tackle more goals and bigger goals. So step-by-step, Goal by goal, meal by meal, day by day, whatever it is, one thing at a time. It all accumulates. Justin says, yesterday is in the past. Each day, push yourself, positive thinking only. 100%, absolutely. Don't, and uh, Mary says, don't let one bad day turn into a few da bad days. And these are, are so important for everybody to hear. And it's okay if, if you yourself have gone through this before. You know, it, it is a learning experience also. It's all part of the journey. Nobody is going to be 100%. Like, it is so rare that anybody is 100%. Um, you know, if we're 80-20, if we're, we're 90-10, whatever it is, like I said, if you have a slip up, like, who cares? Leave it behind you and move on. Um, we talk about um, planning ahead, meal prepping, living flexibly and not too rigid, because the more rigid you are, if you have one tiny slip up, it can kind of lead to that, like, black and white thinking, like... I'm awesome and I failed, whatever. Um, you need a plan for things to never go according to plan, right? Because we all know nothing goes according to plan ever, like ever, ever, ever. So have your backup plans, have your meals prepped, have um, coping mechanisms and coping skills in play if you feel like you're triggered to stress eat or emotional eat or lead to a binge. Um, these are all things that you need to kind of take a look in on yourself and say, okay, where... Where are my, if you want to even call them, faults? Where do I feel triggered to deter from my goals or fall off my path to achieving my goals? The more you can take a look at yourself and focus on why you do and don't do what you do, the more you can learn about yourself and the more successful you can be. Um, it takes a lot of soul searching on this one. Motivation. Okay, when we set these goals for ourselves, whether it was the New Year's resolution, whether Super Bowl's done and I'm going to get back on track, we know motivation doesn't last. And I wish I could tell you it did. I wish I could be like, you're going to be motivated every day. You're not. Um, and if you are, 
Fuck yeah, that's awesome. But when the motivation doesn't last, you need to have that discipline, you need to have that plan um, ready for you to tackle uh, in order to keep pursuing your goals on those days that you're not feeling motivated, those days that you don't want to get out of bed. Those days are going to happen and it's okay. Just know how are we going to tackle those days when it happens. Uh, Dan, what do you do when you stress eat? When you stress eat, how do you bring that hunger and appetite back? So Dan, that is awesome. Awesome. We actually did a whole um, seminar on stress eating and coping with stress. I'm going to see if I can send you that direct link. It might be on our YouTube page as well. In addition, tomorrow we have Kelly Johnson joining us for our um, Rev Live that we do on Wednesdays at 7. Dan, if you can, please chime in on that one. And we're also going to I think I could record it and save it to the wall as well. Um, that is the topic we're talking about tomorrow. It's literally coping with stress, stress eating, uh, our triggers. How do we tackle our triggers? You're, and sh uh, Kelly Johnson, if you don't know, she is a licensed therapist. We work with her all the time. She's phenomenal. So please tune in on that because we're going to dive hard into that one. Um, Mary says, sometimes I meal prep and throw a few containers in the freezer. So on a day I'm not in the mood to cook, I can pull them out. Ideal. I tell people to have emergency meals, anything in their freezer at all times. So emergency meals, frozen vegetables, um, frozen beets, frozen fish, frozen shrimp, um, and in the refrigerator, things like Greek yogurt, cottage cheese, uh, egg whites. I have a lot of high protein sources and frozen vegetables um, accessible at all times. And to have those meals ready to go is spectacular, beautiful. And Dan, good. I'm so glad that you're going to chime in. It's a, it's going to be a really good one. If I can find the one that we did previously, I'll send it to you. Uh, but it's all going to be fresh new stuff for tomorrow. So definitely tune in. Um, having a support system is super important. And Dan, this is going to tie into tomorrow as well. Having a support system is super important. Um, if you are uh, if you can rely on yourself, awesome, but not everybody can uh, rely on themselves to get them through tough times. So whether it's a spouse, a friend, us, you know, utilize your support system at Rev, your nutritionist, me and Randy. Randy and I oversee all the program design there. So you have all of us working as a team. Um, if you have uh, friends, gym partners, if you're feeling like you're going to uh, to, like fall off your path or cave in or whatever it is, reach out to somebody, get on the phone and talk to them. Um, it's s super, super important to do that and not be afraid to reach out to other people, especially in Dan. I think you commented on this, uh, when I posted it as well, especially if you're the type of person who, um, doesn't like to ask for help, which I'm one of them. I'll be first to admit that I'm very like self-reliant. I don't like to ask people for help. I don't like to inconvenience people, but you are not an inconvenience. And that's something that I had to teach myself as well. Um, you know, please use, utilize your support systems as much as you can. Uh, let's see. Stressed and don't. Eat. Oh, so Justin says when you're stressed and don't eat, guys eat less when stressed. So wants to get that appetite back on tough days. Yeah. So it it goes both ways. Um, and we're gonna talk about that tomorrow. There's the stress overeating and stress lack of eating. It goes in both directions. Whether you're a guy or a girl, like doesn't matter. Um, but there are way to ta ways to tackle both ends of that, and we'll we'll jump into that tomorrow for sure. So. I just wanted to, you know, pop on here today, impromptu, little last minute, just to remind you guys, because I know the Super Bowl was tough for many, many people, and um, a few of you may have seen the the silly video that I posted like an hour ago. Um, you know, you wake up, you're feeling good, you look in the mirror, you're like, wow, I feel awesome today, and then you step on the scale and you see you're up a pound or up two pounds or up five pounds. Well, then you're crushed, your confidence goes in the gutter, you're covering up, your whole persona changes the remainder of the day. So what are those fluctuations composed of? How to get back on track, um, you know, how to be prepared for things not going according to plan, you know, when motivation doesn't last, discipline is key, and the importance of having a support system. I think these are all really important things to keep in mind. And if you have questions about any of them, reach out to us. That is what we're here for. We are happy to help you and dive deeper into this. Like Dan mentioned, um, we're going to dive deep into that topic tomorrow. So tune in. We'll be back tomorrow, Wednesday at 7 p.m. on our Revolutionize USA Instagram page. And for everybody that's on Y Vive, uh, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please do not hesitate to reach out to me. I want to make sure that you guys are feeling good, feeling great post Super Bowl, post New Year's resolutions, you know, 
whatever it may be. So everybody, I hope you have an amazing day. I hope that this helped you even just a little bit if you can relate to this topic. And uh, I know we're here for you, whatever you guys need, all right? So I'll catch you guys later. Happy Tuesday, and we'll see you guys tomorrow at 7 p.m. on Rev's Instagram. Bye, guys. See you later.